hello guys uh, welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem problem number 318a and the name is even odds so the problem link is slash problem slash 318 slash a and the problem read can be read as being a non-conformist Varadhyaya is displeased with the current state of things particularly with the order of natural numbers natural number is a positive integer number is determined to rearrange them but there are too many natural numbers so Varadhyaya decided to start with first n he write the first following sequence of number firstly odd integers from 1 to n in ascending orders and then even integers from 1 to n also in ascending order help our hero to find out which number will stand at the position number k so it's a problem where Valodhya is uh, writing the numbers in the form of uh, like uh, first odd integers and then the first even integers from 1 to n so we have to find what will be the number at position number k so the input is the count of integer n and k and let's see how this is working okay. so for our problem test case the uh, 10 and 3 so the numbers will be 1 3 5 7 9 and 2 4 6 comma 8 comma 10 so the third digit is 5 so the output is 5 so how this is working exactly is and the Baladya is writing all the integer numbers first and all the odd integers till n so n is 5 here and total number of even integers is 5 here so now we have to find the position third position in the series and this is the answer as 5 now deducing the next test case say 7 and 7 so for 7 1 3 5 7 2 4 6 so all the even integers that are less than 7 and all the odd integers that, that are less than equal to 7 so the seventh digit here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 6. Let's see, it's yep, it matches over output. So what we are gonna do exactly here is that we are gonna first find out how many odd integers are there in the series, how many even integers are there in the series. So we are gonna use the formula of AP series dn equals to a plus n minus 1 d so if uh, the following test cases will be if then n is even and n is odd so for this our formula for even will be total number of like if for n is even then total number of even terms will be n equals to 2 plus n minus like n is total number of even terms total number of even terms minus 1 into 2 that makes our equation and the total number of even terms the total number of odd terms equals to n equals to 1 plus total number of odd minus 1 into 2 so this is for our case when n is even so like 
here for the first test case and the n is 10 so when n is even the total number of even terms can be written as 10 equals to 2 plus n minus 1 into 2 so that solves to 8 by 2 is 4 and 5 so n comes equals to 5 the total number of even terms so we can see 2 4 6 8 and 10 these are 5 terms so n equals to 5 now for the odd 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 so sorry here it will be 10 minus 1 and here also it will be n minus 1 so yes um, 10 minus 1 is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 4 n equals to 5 so the series has 5 the total number of odd terms so here for input equals to 10 our series has 5 odd numbers and 5 even numbers we can see that in the test case 1 3 5 7 and 9 are 5 odd numbers and 2 4 6 8 10 are 5 even numbers so how we are going to solve this problem we are going to check what is the input k now uh, we know that uh, the Vasya write first odd numbers and then even numbers so we know that if ever k is greater than the number of odd terms then we have to find the, uh, the even terms and if k is um, the keyboard is not just a second yep so when k is less than odd then we have to find that odd term so i think that makes sense how we are going to solve that problem so it is a basic implementation of um, ap series so let's code it problem number 318a So we are going to take the input as, as it says that these are 64 bit integers or n is 10 to the power 12. So we are going to take long n equals to sc dot next long and long k equals to sc dot next long. Now uh, we are going to calculate total number of odd terms in the series. So now we have to check if n percent 2 equals to equals to 0 that means n is even else n is odd. Now we have to apply the formula of total number of odd terms equals to n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 you can solve it uh, by writing the equation by hand and you can see that it equates to this only so okay this can be long mm. two. So these are the number of odd terms and if n is odd then um, 
total number of odd terms will be n minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so I think that makes sense now we have to check that if k is greater than odd terms then our output will be like if we have let me just uh, like if we have the input of 10 equals to n equals to 10 and uh, k equals to 7 then we can uh, like we have to we know that there are 5 odd terms then 7 minus 5 equals to 2 so we have to explore the second term in the event series so the answer will be uh, 4 so uh, uh, the answer will be here 4 so what we are gonna do that is k equals to k minus odd terms so that gives me 7 minus 5 equals to 2 and we know that k into 2 will give me the second on the k term in the series and now here we have to return else uh, k into 2 minus 1 will give me the even odd term in the odd series so let me go with an example to make it more clear what I am saying exactly so let's say for case 7 7 we have 1 3 5 7 and 2 4 6 so 3 even terms and 4 odd terms so now case 7 here so we know that number of odd terms are 4 so now our k becomes 7 minus 4 that means 3 so I have to find the third term in the event series that will make 2 3 into 2 equals to 6 so that's what I have implemented here system dot dot print ln k into 2 and now and let's say that k equals to uh, 4 now we see that k is not greater than the number of odd terms 4 so we have to find the fourth term in the odd series that means 4 into 2 will give me the even term and minus 1 will give me the odd term so the answer is 7 I think that now makes sense properly what I am exactly saying and how I have deduced this problem and I can I have solved this with minimum complexity I think so let's just test that okay so 10 3 5 best test case passes and for the next it passes so let's just submit at submit section um okay so let's wait and see whether it passes or not running on test 3 um accepted so yes guys this was the solution that the way i have implemented people can implement it another way or some good way or some good approach is also there to solve this problem i have not read the tutorial but you should also go with the tutorial of the problem and know how it is solved maybe they were using more concrete formula to exactly solve this um, let's see let's explore that tutorial today also so we can find the tutorial i think there is no tutorial available for this problem mm. yep i think there is no tutorial for the problem but there are uh, tutorials for most of the problems so like for this problem the upcoming problem of our video yeah we can see the tutorial here so you can see the solution here how this is implemented and what is the solution what is the complexity so you can always find 
what is your solution and you can compare what is the best solution given by the author or the programmer who created the problem or the uh, testers who are there on the programming websites so yes guys that's all for problem number um, 318a okay bye bye next problem coming soon